But my hamstrings and quads are in a good spot right now. Look at that squat. I give you, I give you a three. <sighs> Hands coming forward a little bit, but that's not bad. <sighs> yeah. I'd have a low butt wink at the bottom. Oh yeah, I feel it. I see it. I feel it. The whole training process begins with me. I'm part-time CEO, part-time lab rat. For me, I need to know every detail of every exercise that I prescribe for my athletes, and I need to go through it first. See, the type of person that I am, I could be laying awake at 3 a.m. in the morning thinking about the ground reaction forces of a certain exercise and how I can actually craft that exercise into a performance solution for our athletes. Performance training, strength and conditioning, it's my profession, but more accurately, it's my obsession. So, one of the things you see here, biomechanically speaking, when you see this arrow going in this direction, rather than vertical, what he's doing is he's really breaking with his left foot, right? Because if he's pushing on the ground this way, the ground has to push him this way. The more horizontal that vector, the more he's really transferring from horizontal to try to get up. If you had to stop really suddenly, the arrow would be Alright, number two. Mm. Yeah, over 95%. Yeah, and so I'm interested to see what improved on that as far as the bell curve, if anything. Becoming a master of your craft comes down to mastering every detail that affects your craft. So when we look at improving athleticism with players who are already performing at the highest level, we have to really strip away some layers and dig deep to pinpoint those limitations of their athleticism and then really take that data, take that information and attack it in our training program. I think it takes a really special athlete to trust the process. These athletes are already performing at the highest level, but they still admit that they can get better. We lay out a blueprint that our athletes can trust and they work relentlessly to improve. I think the typical fan sees a player catch fire in a game and they automatically assume that that just comes natural for them. But they don't see the eight hour days. They don't see the rep after rep after rep. They don't see the morning agility, the morning strength, the morning conditioning, the morning treatment. They don't see the afternoon shooting session. They don't see the recovery sessions. They don't see the evening skills sessions. They don't see the food that they're replenishing their body with. It takes a special athlete. It takes a really special athlete to be able to endure what they go through in the season and also to get to the next level in the off season. You, know, you see those guys that really truly put in the work and then you see the ones that just talk about it. And you know they might perform the same for a year because maybe the guy who's just talking about it is naturally really talented, but in five years, that hard worker is always going to be better. You're always dry.
striving, you're always striving, you're always working, you're always grinding. Those are the ones that buy into the process. Those are the ones that show up six days a week. And those are the ones that end up having exceptional careers. I think the first step is a mindset shift. Your body doesn't want to get more athletic. It has its priorities. All your body wants to do is maintain homeostasis to stay alive. You have to get your brain to communicate with your body that it's no longer a want, it's a need. The human body has an amazing capability of adapting to needs. The problem is so many athletes don't know how to shift that mindset and how to make their thoughts communicate all the way down through their body. The brain is a very powerful thing. Whatever we get our brain to believe, eventually our body follows. So if your crutch is genetics, there's no chance of you ever improving. If you have a belief that there's such thing as a genetic peak, then for you, there's a genetic peak. So you gotta understand that our brain and our body are constantly sending signals back and forth. It's almost like they're sending each other emails every second, every millisecond. And if your brain is sending signals to your body, sending emails to your body saying that there's no need for a change because you have a genetic limit that you've reached what do you think your body's going to do it's not going to change once you get your brain to send your body those emails saying you absolutely need this you no longer want it you need this that's when your body makes a change that's when your body says, okay, give me the right training stimulus, give me a consistent training stimulus, and I'll make a change. And that's where the magic happens. Hey, need it. When I was 22 years old, I took my vertical from 32 inches to 47 inches. Half of that was the actual training system that I came up with. It's the actual specifics, the methods behind it. The other half was the fact that I adopted this mindset shift. In my mind, I went from showing up to workouts and just going through the motions to showing up to workouts, visualizing my success and exploding through my workouts. In between sets, I would sit there, I would grab my legs, I would feel my legs, and I'd think to myself, there's fast twitch muscle fibers in these legs that I don't know how to activate. I've never activated these fast twitch muscle fibers in my legs. That pisses me off. That makes me mad. And eventually, with that specific attention and that visualization in between sets, my brain sent my body the correct signals make a change activate those muscle fibers that I've never tapped into and after a year of doing this consistently and never missing a day 
that's when I started jumping through the roof. And trust me, when you go from 32 inches to 47 inches, and you go from barely touching the rim your whole life to throwing down windmill dunks, 360 dunks, it changes things. It changes your game. And not only that, it shows you what you're capable of. And when you translate that to every aspect of your life, you become dominant in whatever you want. School, business, anything that you want to do, you become successful if you can translate 100% of that mindset that you develop through training into your personal life.